Welcome to another episode of the Lyceum of History, comparing the ancient Greeks and the Phoenicians. First, let's take a look at the historical background. Both the Greeks and the Phoenicians built their colonies around the coast of the Mediterranean and Black Seas. Both relied heavily on the sea for transportation and livelihood. Both were organized as city-states as well. Each city would have its own leader and form of government. In the case of the Greeks and the Phoenicians, most of that would be monarchies or kings ruling the city-state and the surrounding areas. Why the sea? The rocky soil of Greece made land travel difficult, and Carthage was cut off from the Phoenician homeland. Both civilizations grew wealthy through trade and their colonies helped facilitate this trade. Greece had colonies in Cyrene, southern France and Italy, as well as along the coast of Asia Minor and the Black Sea. Phoenicia had colonies in Spain, the Greb, and the Mediterranean Islands, and of course Carthage off the coast of North Africa. The Greeks were polytheist and worshipped many gods, such as Zeus, Poseidon, Mars, Athena, Apollo, etc. The Phoenicians were polytheists as well and worshipped Baal and Astarte. The languages they spoke were in different language families as well. Greek is an Indo-European language and it's still spoken today. You can see an example of ancient Greek in the image on the screen. Phoenician was a Semitic language that died off around the first century BC. And you can see an example of it written on the image on the screen. The Greeks left a huge legacy to the modern world. They laid the foundation for Western civilization, and art, philosophy, science, politics, mythology, literature, sports, and more. Carthage also left an enduring legacy. They carried on the tradition of the Phoenicians, which gave the world the world's first known alphabet, purple dye production that was so famous that it became the color royalty and wasn't really replaced until synthetic dyes in the last hundred years. And they are also known for their ancient maritime trade routes, which opened up trade for the future. Thank you so much for watching this video from the Lyceum of History. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to more videos from the Lyceum of History.